Here is our bivouac. It's an original toy, but uh, we use modern and kind of other figures. The bivouac came with a radio. I had to put a new antenna on. If you take a match and paint it green, like I did, it uh, works really good. It also came with a rocket launcher and a very large rocket. And it's shot, I'm guessing, kind of shot like a mortar. And he sights it up here and he puts it in and it shoots out. Um, this, oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's not the thing that we're talking about down there. This is a quite large rocket because as you can see I have Zorana and the missile rocket missile same thing um that's pretty big for its for a missile yep and we've kind of turned this whole thing into a base and I normally have somebody else kind of off here doing the radio it also came with a tent that you have to put together yourself. It's not very complicated at all. You just stick this in, but you have to do those first or else they don't go in right. And then you attach the back of the hood and that's really it. Um, we have, these didn't really come with the set. It was a, it was supposed to be a water canteen, but I do like that better because it can also um, sight in where you're supposed to be shooting and somebody can be it's more telling. useful. Yeah. And it also came with this field equipment box and it just kind of stands and it came with a shovel, an axe, and a machete, but I don't have the machete, so I like to just put some rifles in there. And this, I usually put a rubber band on it. It can possibly kind of stay up on its own. And we've just turned this all into a military base so that it looks like our army is kind of building up here. And in the background, we've got some trees. That were actually from Christmas. Mm. They're actually from Christmas. And I, he was looking for something, and I said, why don't we just use these? Yeah, and it works, works real good as a little display, and we, you know, put it back, back there. And we also have, looks a little cluttered, but... Uh, <laughs> um, we have little Steve back there. We named him that. Little well, Steve. I named him that. Yeah, little because Steve. Because his face is different. Different. It's... Um, yeah. Weird. So he's just an army builder. He was just kind of an extra. He was from the dollar store. And we just like to make this whole big base. And I got uh, Blocker from Battle Force 2000. And I got him driving the armadillo. And we just kind of like having it set up like this where... It can just kind of look like a base, and they're just doing their average everyday kind of thing. And it's protecting the base. These big machine guns. A lot of this <laughs> stuff here is actually even too big for the guy's hands. They don't really kind of hold it very well. So I would not force these hands onto this. It's not a very good idea. So this is our fortress. We don't have a real, you know, overly organized, maybe is the wrong word, but it's our base. We were going to kind of show you little things that, how to put it all together, but it's a quite a complicated kind of thing, and it takes quite a bit of time to put it all together. If you want to, you know... See how it's put together. Put that in the comments. I can definitely show you how to do that. And 
Here's our little base. Take some of this stuff and I'm going to set it aside. And Scarlet's kind of being shown to be in the lead here. And she's kind of in the lead. We're going to, even though we've got Hawk there, we're going to let Scarlet be in, in command. And she's just kind of telling everybody to get going because there's a battle coming and we got to get everybody lined up for a fight. So. Okay. Well, um, this is going to be our next review. He's laying down for some reason. He fell down. He's the same person. And the Dreadnought. Yep, that's the Dreadnought. The Dreadnoughts um, will be our next review. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Press stop.